Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my wash and go routine for my short curly hair ever since I did my big chop. I did want to start off first by showing you what I washed and conditioned with. I've really been loving the Ozzy 7-in-1. Typically I will use the Garnier Fructis, but this is what I actually use today. To deep condition, I use the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I really love this. And then when I do co-wash, I like to use the Matrix Biolash Cleansing Conditioner. This stuff is so good, you guys, and it does lather up a little bit. And then for the hair cream, I typically do like to use this Matrix Biolage Anti-Frizz Lotion for medium hair. But today, I use something different because I am currently out of this. So let's get started. So starting off with freshly washed hair, of course, you can see that ever since I got my cut, my curls are a lot more defined down to the tip. I do have this small section in the front that still has some heat damaged curls. These pieces just will not let me be great, but you can see that I have curl at the root about an inch or two down and then it just gets straight. I mean, this is a comparison of like the non heat damaged part of my hair, but if you are unfamiliar with heat damage to curls, straightened it doesn't look like anything it's still shiny it's still great but you know if you do wear your hair curly you can see those straight ends they are really a struggle so I'm gonna be spraying my hair this is just water to re-dampen it I do like my hair to be soaking wet when I do this process and then I'm going to separate the back section so that I can start putting in my leave in. I have to start with a leave in because if I don't, I just, my hair will be crunchy and I don't like that. So I like to use the Cantu Shea Butter Leave In Conditioner. This stuff is really, really great. That's the amount that I typically will use and I like to work it in really good. If you do not work this into your hair really good, sometimes it just will not mix well with your other products. I do section my hair probably into about six to seven sections just to get it in really good to each area. And then when I am done getting it in all of my hair, I will pin up the rest and then start with the back section and in this video I'm actually going to turn around and work from the back so you can really see what it is that I'm doing like I've said if you're unfamiliar with heat damage um, I'm just gonna kind of show you what it looks like when your hair is straight you can't really see any type of damage at all it doesn't look like your typical damage with split ends or um, dry or brittle it actually looks really good when it's straight but if you do like to wear your hair curly that heat damage it really does make a huge difference in the way that your curls look because literally your hair can be straight in certain areas and it will not curl up the same way So turning to the back so you can see exactly what I'm doing, I'm first going to start off with the Curls Creme Brulee Whipped Curl Cream. I really love this stuff and for me, like I said, I have to get in a really good cream base because if I don't, when I start to add the gels, my hair will actually get crunchy and I do not like crunchy curls. I like to work it in by finger combing it through and then when I am done getting that worked in really well, I'll actually also go in with this Kinky Curly Custard. Typically I will use the curl maker but they happen to be out of it this time when I went to go get it. So this is what I'm using right now which I actually like it just as much. Um, the consistency I find to be pretty much the same more or less, maybe just a little bit thicker. It is very moisturizing so again I really like using the styling product because it keeps me from having crunchy curls. After that I will go in with the Curls Goddess Curl and this is very liquidy gel. Really reminds me a little bit of Sebastian's Wet but this one I feel like it's just a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to finger comb that into my curls as well and this adds a ton of definition because of the liquidy consistency of it. I do actually use um, the same process when I'm in the shower detangling my hair. I'd like to finger detangle because for me it works really, really well. And I find that I don't have nearly as much shedding as when I was actually using like a comb or a brush. Moving on to the next section, I'm going to add the products in the exact same order. Like I said before, I have to really get in a nice good cream base before I add any gels because if I don't, my hair will become crunchy. Because my hair is so thick, I do use a lot of product because I have to saturate my hair from the root to the tip in order for it to hold and for me to get the most out of my wash and go. 
uh, typically this will last me three to four days so the way that I get it to last is literally by putting in a ton of product and I find that this is just what works best for my hair type since it's so thick At this point, I can actually start to really feel the definition. With my hands, I can feel how defined it is. And once I'm satisfied with that, I will move on and add some Eco Styler to the mix. Um, I don't use as much Eco Styler as I used to because I use so many other products now that I, it just doesn't require that I use as much of this as I used to use before. So I'll work that in to add the extra hold and definition, but I really don't have to use as much as I did before. You can definitely see how defined the curls are at this point. And once they get to this point, that's when I move on to the next section. I will take certain pieces and start to finger curl if I feel like it needs a little bit more definition. Um, when I'm trying to go for something that is a really voluminous wash and go look, I don't finger curl all of my hair. But if I'm going for a more defined curl look, then I will finger curl all of my hair, which doesn't have as much volume. But it does actually last much longer than the three to four days. So, you know, there's pros and cons to how you decide to do your wash and go and, you know, what look you're going for. So I basically go through my entire hair sectioning it like I did with the leave-in conditioner. I typically section it about six to seven times and work in the products in the exact same order until I'm satisfied with the definition and then I move on. When I move to the front and the sides, that's typically where I have like the little heat damage pieces here and there. So I do have to use a little bit more eco styler in these areas because it just offers the best hold. I'll put additional product in my palm and kind of scrunch it into the sections or areas where I feel like it needs the most help. And that's what you see me doing right here because I have some pieces on this side that are just not as curly as the rest of my hair. But this is the type of definition that I am able to achieve using these products in this order. I have to stress to you that you have to use it in this order in order to achieve it um, or achieve the look that I'm actually going for in this video. I also find that by adding the products in this order when I start to diffuse my hair, I actually am able to retain a lot of the shine and gloss that's in my hair. So I really love that also. But you can see I'm now at the most difficult part of my hair, the front where my heat damage still remains. And this is where I'm gonna again go in using the products the same order. And then I will be scrunching in additional Eco Styler at the tips here just to add the definition I need to make the curls match a little bit better. When I am done with that, of course, you know, I have to lay my edges and do my baby hair. And I do use the Eco Styler for this because for me, just out of all the different gels that I have used, this works the best. So that's what I use for my edges every single time. Even if I don't use it in my actual hair, I will use it to do my edges. After I am done with my edges and laying my baby hair, then I'll let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes and do my makeup, a basic look or you know whatever it is I'm gonna do for that day. And then when I come back, I will take a towel, which this is a baby towel because it's just much softer and better for your hair. And I will scrunch the front where I have the most heat damage or where my curls struggle the most. And I'll still scrunch you know, the rest of my hair and add more definition. And then from there, I will start to diffuse. And I like to actually diffuse on a medium to high heat. And that is pretty much the only heat that I put in my hair. I do not have plans to straighten my hair anytime soon. I'm going to try to wait for at least a year, but this is the only heat that I'm going to be putting in my hair for now. 
So this typically takes me about 10 minutes, sometimes not even a full 10 minutes to diffuse all of my hair. I do like to focus most of it on the front where my curls struggle the most, but for the most part, this takes about 10 minutes or so, and I'll do it until my hair is about 70% dry more or less. This is about 70% dry and as you can see it's still really shiny and it has a lot of the sheen and I'll kind of just let it air dry the rest of the way at this point. If I can I will scrunch some oil into it just to break a little bit of the gel cast because it still has a little bit in certain areas but for the most part the curls are really soft. But this is the definition that I'm able to achieve with this wash and go process and like I said this will last me about 3 to 4 days. That is my entire process for my wash and go for short curly hair. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I do have some really cool hair videos coming up, especially some how to style short curly hair videos. But for now, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.